From award-winning entrepreneur to wanted man, we've done several stories on this man. Yeah, and we've spoken with several people who claim he did not finish uh, their pools and patios that they had paid him for. And tonight, we are learning more about him. Channel 5's Christian Colon here with more details on the man Brownsville police are looking for. Yeah, numerous victims have come forward telling Channel 5 News that 38-year-old Obed Roque Valencia stole thousands of dollars from them. Yesterday, Brownsville police confirmed they have now issued a warrant for his arrest. Now we've learned that Valencia was up-and-coming businessman in the McAllen area, where the Chamber of Commerce once awarded him thousands of dollars. The McAllen Chamber of Commerce Vice President for Business Development says... Never has happened before. Um, actually, whenever we do the background checks, we have never even seen a red flag. Um, so this is totally new for us. Jorge Sanchez surprised after finding out one of the chamber's former grant winners is now wanted by Brownsville police. Seemed very knowledgeable about the construction um, industry because he said he had a company on, on, on construction and he planned to use this type of echo block uh, for, for his activities. Back in 2017, Obed Roque Valencia won an innovation award for the McAllen Chamber of Commerce. Allocated to entrepreneurs for their creative ideas, Valencia proposed a company called Echo Tech Block. This is where he would recycle plastic and convert it into blocks. The idea won $10,000, but before awarding it... I have to go through a background check, so we do, we do request their social security and stuff like that and, and uh, what we do is we hire one of our members to conduct uh, background checks mm -hmm. and then after it's cleared we don't see any type of red flags uh, their funds are cleared as well and obed was cleared too absolutely yeah but sanchez says it's been nearly a year since he's heard of any activity from that business the money was awarded to the supplier used for the block company and not directly to valencia and there's still $700 that hasn't been used. Now, because of the recent arrest warrant, Sanchez says they might stop Valencia from benefiting from it. The lesson learned? Well, it will help us to keep an eye on all the projects that we have helped. It also gives us a little bit of rest that we do uh, formal background checks on all the projects. And definitely we will keep doing that for the continuing projects. And all this time, Valencia is nowhere to be found. Brownsville police say he could be anywhere in the valley, specifically Far, McAllen, or Mission, and that he could be driving a white GMC Cannon or a black Ford Explorer. If you have any information, you can contact the Brownsville Crime Stoppers in the studio. Christian Colon, Channel 5 News at 6.